go to kick off. It'll come to Richard Marshall about a yard deep. Across the 15, the 20, breaks a couple of tackles, now down the sideline, cuts it back inside, and he's going to be dragged down from behind by D.J. Dykes. But a great return for Richard Marshall out to the 46-yard line. By Mike Anderson. On first down, Witchman passes to Ford, and he's dropped first by Marcus McCauley before help arrived. Wayne Andrews and Alan Goodwin also went on the stop for Fresno State. Big time defensive play by Marcus McCauley. Playing off one block and getting to the receiver. You see early on what emotion can do. Idaho just so emotional in all facets of the game. But again, it'll settle down and become a real football game. This guy, though, is a pretty good football player, Witchman. Has the ability to throw on the run. I expect to see them move the pocket at times today. Loss of two and maybe two more. Lambala was the ball carrier and he was dropped in the backfield. special teams all season. Barrow gets it off. Fernandez at the 28. Looking for a block along the far side. Now tries to cut it back up inside across the 40. Now he's got a chance. 40, 30, 20, 15. One man to beat. Inside the five. Fernandez, touchdown. Unbelievable. You know, we talk about how great the special teams are, and John Baxter does a terrific job with them. But that was an individual effort beyond comprehension. Breaking tackles, showing mobility, and then showing the moxie to get it to the goal line. All facets of the return, Fernandez did well. A magnificent play by Fernandez. Unofficially, it goes as 72 yards, but he ran a lot farther than that, reversing his field to the far sideline, then back to the near sideline. Mike Barrow, the punter, finally dragged him down, but not before he had stretched the ball across the goal line as Clint Stitzer adds the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Very reliable just catching the ball. And Bulldogs figured he had pretty good field position here after another three and out, second one in a row. They can't get any better field position than Fernandez gave him last time. The snap comes on a bounce, and Barrow tries to kick it off the ground. It's picked up. A penalty flag comes in, and Fresno State takes it into the end zone. Jerron Fairman. Whistles will stop play, and the officials are going to have to sort this one out. It's not going to be a touchdown, I don't believe. But again, you get back to special teams, Fresno State executing and Idaho not executing. It was a horrible snap. And you can see that Nick Holt was just disappointed with that play. ...of a ball on the offense. Now let's see. Maybe it is going to be a touchdown. Number 43 on the offense. The penalty is declined. There you go. The result of the play is a touchdown. Touchdown, Fresno State. From the 44, Witchman will throw again. He's pressured and sacked. Garrett McIntyre, cast on his left hand, brace on his left hand. Discussing things with the, one of the officials on the first down play. Witchman hands off safety, Fresno State. No chance on that play. Manny Sanchez just blew into the end zone and dropped the ball carrier for a Fresno State safety. Four-man rush for the Vandals. Fernandez is wide open. 20 across the 30-yard line, finally taken down at about the 32, maybe the 33. Mike Anderson made the tackle, but that'll stop the clock with a Fresno State first down. And Junior. this again on the cutback and he has room across the 45 to the 50 into Idaho territory at about the 49 yard line so another big gain and this is the way Fresno State wanted to start the game in the first half DJ Dykes with the stop and the Bulldogs figured that they could really get things going with the running game yeah and a good cut again by Mathis and, and you're right Ralph if Fresno State believes they can move Idaho out of there 
And this is a much better start. They've already moved it over 30 yards. And again, that quick cut by Mathis, former UCLA player, transferred in and really has been a great addition to the Bulldog program. Big handoff, Witzman with a pass, complete, and a quick takedown. Great defensive play by Marcus McCauley on Tracy Ford. A this, gain maybe of a yard. That's speed on defense of Fresno State. Marcus McCauley, junior player, you know, sometimes he gets overlooked. You see McIntyre pressure. Sometimes we overlook McCauley because everyone talks about Richard Marshall, but Marcus McCauley is a splendid cornerback. Four receivers in for Fresno State, including Fairman at the bottom of the screen. And he might get another chance. No, the pass comes short of him to Fernandez. Spins away from one and two defenders, then finally stumbles at about the 18-yard line. It's going to be another Fresno State first down, yet another third down conversion. Six of ten now for the Bulldogs. And the offense finally does put some points on the board. Three points off the toe of Clint Stitzer. Fresno State defense now Barrow on to kick it away. Again, he has to run away from pressure, and it's blocked by Paul Williams out of bounds. Fresno State will have great field position again. And that was Barrow kind of starting to run away from the field before the ball was even snapped. Yeah, that rugby-style punt rarely works. I know some try to do it. You'll see him roll and try to punt. But Paul Williams, who they call the freak because of his uh, athletic ability, he's just extraordinary. Got those arms up and spiked it out of bounds with the block. Again, specialty teams. You know, if you're going to pick a most valuable player for the game, it might be John Baxter, who coaches the specialty teams. It's this time. First and goal from the one. Pinniger going to bootleg and unload. Pass complete. Touchdown, Devin McDonald. Well, Idaho thinking that Mathis would carry the football. Mathis is a guy that has seven touchdowns this year. Everyone in the house thought he was going to get the ball. Little play fake. Devin McDonald, the former wide receiver, playing tight end. Very good hands. Just goes downfield, makes it look easy. A little pitch and catch and a bulldog touchdown. Devin McDonald's a guy that hung around the program. Not a lot of people thought he'd play a few years ago, but just worked hard, got better and better, and here he is catching a touchdown in a Western out by 16 late in this quarter. Wichman pressured and hit and dropped by Tyler Klutz. Klutz came right up the gut for the sack. Wichman never had a chance. Took a couple of glances down the field, and Klutz was right in his face. Perspective, Fernandez had 12 catches the entire season. Coming into this one, he has seven of the day, and I bet he's not finished. This one goes to Matt Rivera. Cuts it inside, 40, 35, 30, down to the 25-yard line. A big play for Fresno State. Mike Benelli in on the stop, along with... D.J. Dykes, but it's a first down for the Bulldogs. You know, starting to get it rolling on offense. Well, you know, we talked about it at the beginning of the game. Idaho came out with all that emotion, but it's a long game, and talent takes over. And Fresno State is physically a better football team than Idaho, and they're wearing the Vandals down. Second and ten. Wichman working the screen. Pass complete to Sherman, but he is roped down by Manny Sanchez, who's had some some big time plays for the Bulldogs today. Be prohibited. Like Fresno State Athletics, Central Valley Accident Law is proud to serve the entire Central Valley. For all and any of your accident and injury needs, please call Central Valley Accident Law at 1 3 C Val as we watch Wendell Mathis take it down the sideline and into the end zone. We talked about the ability to make plays, go the distance, the big play. And that takes athletes. And Wendell Mathis, right here, going to take a simple handoff, good blocking up front, and again, he makes players miss, and then it's speed. Speed and power along that sideline. Herb Cash didn't wrap up, and 58 yards later, Wendell Mathis is in the end zone. From the 32. Wichman to throw, he's being pressured. McIntyre trying to get him, he can't get him. McIntyre can't get him, but three other Bulldogs did. And now McIntyre is kind of favoring his left shoulder. Let's see who's in on the sack. Up front, dominating Idaho in the trenches. As he came back to the sideline, and nearly a block again as Williams busted up the middle. Barrow's going to try to pick up the first down, but he's not going to get it. What a play by Vincent Mays. Man. I mean, Mays, Mays came just a, closed. He, craw he crosses the field 
and with one arm reaches out and takes them down. Now on third and ten, that percentage will really be tested of conversions, but Matt Rivera trying to make it happen, and he does. Inside the 20 now to about the 17-yard line before he is taken down, and yet another third down conversion, this one a third and 11. That's what Fresno State can do to you. They won that game 70 to 14 and they scored 49 in the first half. Someone behind the pile bounces off into the end zone. Fresno State with a touchdown and Bryson Sumlin moves up a notch on the all-time list. Beavers in for Harrington. Pressured and buried. Boy, big hit. And I'll have to pick up that number. Kadir Brown. If it's some of these guys have their jerseys all hiked up, you can't have a hard time reading what the number is. But Kadir Brown, a freshman, just came right up the middle, virtually untouched. Penalty takes it to the 30-yard line of the Bulldogs. Harrington looking long. Pass is going to be intercepted. Fresno State gets the football back. Now to seal our player of the game. Huss, Jason Huss, with his first interception. We're talking about our player of the game on defense. We'll hold that for you until we get it set up. But look at the interception by Huss. One of these young guys getting a chance to play. Wobbly pass. There was no chance for the offensive player to get it. Well, we just saw why Harrington doesn't start. That was a duck, and Huss had to love that. You're right. When you, when you get a chance to play and you make a play like that, that's going to make the plane ride back home for Huss. You know, he's going to be all smiles tonight when he lands in Fresno. Well, that's two. Well, in all facets of the game in the second half, offense, defense, special teams, Fresno State performed very well. Again, some breakdowns offensively in the first half, but they corrected those in the locker room, and they look like a nationally ranked team that will move up in the polls. We know the Michigan State and Virginia both lost early today. Harrington's pass incomplete. And that'll do it. Zero's on the clock, and Fresno State extends its winning streak as Pat Hill jogs across the field to greet Nick Holt and exchange handshakes by the head coaches. Bulldogs glad to get out of here after a shaky start on offense. Special teams and defense carried them in the first half, and then the offense finally got it clicking in the second half. Bulldogs improved to five and one overall and remain unbeaten in the Western Athletic Conference with a big game at Hawaii coming up one week from today. We will be back with more from Moscow, Idaho, right after this on the Bulldog Sports Network.